So I'm Kristen Venuti and I'm a nurse practitioner. I work here at Johns Hopkins and I've been here really for 20 plus years. I started right out of nursing school. I first was a nurse on the med surg unit. I took care of kids who had scoliosis surgery after through their hospital stay. And then I decided to go back to school to be a nurse practitioner. And I worked with Dr. Sponseller through the years that I was on the floor and decided to roll into a job as a orthopedic nurse practitioner. And we are always looking for what can we do to even better improve the outcomes of kids with scoliosis. The one thing that we're working on right now is testing a hypothesis about a certain medication called botulinum toxin and understanding if this can improve the outcomes of kids wearing braces for scoliosis. There is, there's lots of thought and ideas about screening programs, and really we've, we've identified early, early recognition, early diagnosis is, is key to getting, getting the best outcome. I really, I love pediatrics, getting to work with the child and the family together. It's my job as the nurse practitioner to identify the problem, and know what the natural history of this problem is, and involve the family in every, in decisions along the way, really every step of the way. The National Scoliosis Center really is our go-to brace maker for kids with scoliosis. They have the most expertise in making braces for kids with scoliosis. Their braces are by far the most comfortable and the most inconspicuous. We get great feedback from the families who work with the National Scoliosis Center. So the National Scoliosis Center has eye buttons that they're able to place in each patient's brace and that eye button gives us a gives us a really informative readout of how many hours a day this brace is being worn and that's it's a really nice thing as as the nurse practitioner seeing these patients, we can see how the curve is changing and knowing how many hours a day that brace is being worn, we can adjust the dose of bracing accordingly. I really am always inspired by kids who are giving it their all. They understand it might be hard at the moment to know what is so important about this brace, what is so important about this scoliosis, but really being able to think think about what can I do now to improve my health for the future.